What if Gravity Destroyer had an evolution during the second season of Beyblade? Gravity Destroyer is both a left spinning and right spinning defense type Beyblade owned by Julian in the anime. In addition to its dual spinning capabilities, its energy ring can be rotated to change from two different modes called defense and counter mode. The mode you're currently seeing is on its counter mode. And now let's change it to its defense mode by rotating the energy ring just slightly so it covers the eyes of the Beyblade. So now the Beyblade is in defense mode which will allow it to have a little bit more defense but lower attack. But the funny thing is Gravity Destroyer has a lot of recoil on its energy ring. The one issue I'd say that Gravity Destroyer has is that its fusion wheel has extremely high recoil towards where it was easily able to get knocked out, which is not really ideal in a defense type Beyblade. So for the evolution, we're going to try to keep the defense theme overall the same but also keep the counter theme as well. Now it's actually going to be a bit hard to actually give an evolution to this Beyblade because this fusion wheel and energy ring is quite unique. There is pretty much nothing else like this Beyblade. But thankfully enough, they actually gave us different versions of the fusion wheel and the energy ring. So the energy ring destroyer here that you're currently seeing is actually technically called the defense version. And with this, we're actually going to be exchanging this for the stamina version. Now, some of you may be asking, what's the difference? Well, if you look closely, it actually has coverage for every single protrusion of the energy ring. And with the addition of this energy ring, it actually adds a lot more weight and defense onto the Beyblade. And now a quick comparison, as you can see, the head is now extended towards where it's missing on the original gravity energy ring. But now with this change, there will no longer be a counter mode or defense mode on the fusion wheel. But don't worry, we're going to be putting that customization onto a different part. And now for the gravity fusion wheel, there's pretty much nothing we can actually evolve this into. So what we're actually going to be using is a different colored gravity fusion wheel. Now the matching colors from the energy ring and the fusion wheel will pretty much match. And another cool small feature on this fusion wheel is that it's a little bit heavier than the previous black gravity fusion wheel. Just a small thing that people in the community apparently figured out. And now for its spin track AD145. This spin track is actually pretty solid as it has a lot of weight and just overall gives the Beyblade some pretty good defense. But we're actually going to be changing the AD145 spin track to the SA165 spin track. I chose this spin track just because it looks quite similar to the previous spin track. As you can see, it's pretty much just a bigger and wider version of the previous one. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison between both of the spin tracks. But most importantly, it's the gimmick that matters on the spin track. As you can see, the disc can actually be removed. And once you remove the disc, you can actually flip it upside down to change the mode to attack mode. So now instead of the mode being able to change from defense to counter mode from the energy ring, it is now being inputted onto the spin track. And I believe because of the size of the spin track, it will have a lot more impact. And now for the wide defense tip. This tip was overall a pretty solid tip, it had some pretty decent defense and overall some pretty good stamina. But wide defense just felt like it wasn't enough to actually support the high recoil that the gravity fusion wheel had. So we're actually going to be changing this tip. And now we're not really going to stick with the wide defense evolutions like eternal wide defense, we're going to be switching it to something a little bit more different. So. Here is my take on what the tip should be. Here we have rubber defense flat. Because rubber defense flat has a rubber center, it has extremely good defense being able to support the high recoil of the gravity fusion wheel. And if we compare it to the original wide defense, it still has somewhat of a similar shape. Now this tip will definitely have a downgrade in stamina, but the number one thing that it's good at is opposite spin matchups. It has absolutely amazing LAD especially when you're spinning it towards the opposite direction and guess what? Gravity Destroyer can spin both directions. So ideally as long as Gravity Destroyer is spinning in the opposite direction of its opponent, it can easily outspin and also defend against any attacks that it gets hit with. So now that we have everything chosen, let's put everything together and see the final results of our Gravity Destroyer evolution. And now presenting Gravity Destroyer SA165 Rubber Defense Flat. This color scheme just looks so elegant as you can see I even matched the color of the face ball to the clear one. Basically just changed it from black gravity destroyer to white. Just to recap, the attack and stamina stat did decrease from the previous gravity destroyer but the defense stat did increase tremendously. And just to let you guys know, you're currently seeing it in defense mode. 
So now let's flip the disc on the SA165 spin track to see how it would look in its attack or counter mode. And now with this, the attack stats has increased slightly while the defense stat has decreased slightly as well. And as you can see, it has a giant gap in between the spin track and the fusion wheel which can provide a lot of good attacks when hitting other Beyblades. But overall, it's a really cool looking Beyblade as you can see from the far view here, it's a pretty nice design. Now because we have the rubber defense flat tip, this Beyblade is probably a lot more ideal when we spin this towards the left. So now, like always, we're going to have to do some test battles, so we're going to be going against four other stages of Beyblades. Our first stage will be against Galaxy Pegasus. Galaxy Pegasus is a right-spinning attack-type Beyblade owned by Jinka in the anime. Both Jinka and Julian did fight in the anime where Jinka lost the first time, but as soon as they rematched, Jinka did manage to take the win. We're going to have to see if Gravity Destroyer can now at least defend against Galaxy Pegasus' attack with its newfound evolution. Our second stage will be against Meteo El Drago. El Drago is a left spinning attack type Beyblade owned by Ryuga in the anime. Both Ryuga and Julian had a significant encounter in the anime with Ryuga claiming that his Beyblade is the best left spinning Beyblade. I think this should be a pretty nice matchup since Gravity Destroyer can also spin towards the left. And for our third stage, we're going to be doing an evolution battle against Hell Wolf. Hell Wolf is a balance type Beyblade and the evolution of Dark Wolf that we made for the previous video. It has stats in pretty much every category and overall should be a pretty tough matchup for Gravity Destroyer. And for our last stage, we're going to be going against Gravity Destroyer. This will be a test to see if the new evolution of Gravity Destroyer can actually beat the original. Although we did change a lot of things, the fusion wheel is basically still the same, so I believe it should be also another close battle. Now let's start off with the first stage against Galaxy Pegasus. We're going to be starting off Gravity Destroyer on left spin defense mode, and we're going to be doing a best of 5, so first to 3 points, we'll take it off. That was a pretty nice showcase of defense there by Destroyer, the score is now 1-0. Pegasus caught Destroyer on the ledge and knocks it out, the score is now tied 1-1. And another knockout by Galaxy Pegasus, the score is now 1-2. With Destroyer being down 1-2, let's switch Gravity Destroyer's mode into attack mode. The score is currently 1-2. Damn, Gravity went kinda crazy there at the start, and now the score is tied 2-2. And Destroyer will take the win with a sleep out, which means the score is now 3 2. That last battle was so cool. Gravity was just going in defense and attack mode randomly at times. Overall, it was a pretty close matchup for Pegasus, but now let's move on to round 2 against Meteo El Drago. Like always, we're going to be doing a best of 5, so first to 3 points will take it all. Gravity Destroyer will take the first round with a sleep out, the score is now 1-0. Let's change Destroyer's spin direction to right spin. Oh 
Oh wow, that hit for Meteo just completely knocked itself out. The score is now 2 0. Destroy just decides to take things into its own hands and actually knocks out Meteo El Drago. The score is now 3 0, which means Gravity Destroyer takes the win. A great 3 0 sweep here by Gravity Destroyer. It's very hard for Meteo because it can't actually knock out Destroyer or even outspin it towards the end. Still, I respect the attempt. And now let's move on to the third stage against Hellwolf. Hellwolf did pretty well in its evolution video, and now we're going to be seeing if Gravity Destroyer can take it down. But like always, we're going to be doing a best of five so first to three points we'll take it all Destroyer will take the first round with the sleep out and now the score is 1-0. Ooh, tons of clashing but Destroyer comes out on top. The score is now 2-0. Now that was a great upper attack there by Hell Wolf. The score is now 2-1. Hell Wolf knocks out Gravity Destroyer at the same location. The score is now tied 2 2. Now, that was such a hard hit. Literally sent Hell Wolf flying. That was definitely a lot more action packed than I thought it would have been. I feel like the rubber defense flat tip just was able to actually defend against all of these hits from Hell Wolf. Still, a really good showcase by both Beyblades, but now let's move on to the last battle using Gravity Destroyer White versus Gravity Destroyer Black. We're going to be doing a best of five, so first to three points will take it all. Gravity Destroyer actually knocks out Gravity Destroyer White and now the score is 0-1. A great comeback here by Destroyer White, the score is now tied 1-1. Both Black and White Destroyer's modes have been changed from Attack Mode to Defense Mode. A very, very close match, but I believe Destroyer Black actually won that one. The score is now 1 2. Another really close match, but Gravity Destroyer Y actually takes that by slight rotation. The score is now tied 2 2.
And that will conclude the final match. Gravity Destroyer White takes the win with a 3-2 scoreline. Honestly, a very, very close match. Gravity Destroyer Black actually did manage to win one LAD battle. I think this is probably one of the closer matches we've had in an evolution battle compared to the original Beyblade. But other than that, what did you guys think about this evolution? Would you guys have changed this Beyblade any other way? But now that we have this Beyblade evolution complete, we can actually do an evolution tournament. So I'm either thinking of doing a video or just live streaming it. If you guys like this video, consider subscribing or even maybe dropping a like. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys all for watching.